it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. Today I'm here with Bags Depot who sponsored this post to talk about how to make an easy Christmas bag. So the idea is, is that instead of using wrapping paper and instead of using um, you know paper gift bags, we can use reusable bags. And the nice thing about them is they have drawstrings that you can close. That way you can avoid using um, lots of tissue paper. So the other thing is you save a lot of money using these because long term you can use these over and over for years. All right, so today we're going to talk about how to make Santa bag. And again, we are working with a larger bag than a lot of people will see for sale at the store. Some of them are very small. So Bags Depot sent me this and it is one of their laundry bags. As you can see, it's half my size and it's got a really decent size opening. We are going to talk about how to decorate this. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your bags. You are going to need some heat transfer vinyl. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a design for $5. <laughs> I purchased a design on Etsy that somebody had made. So what they had is they have like, if you've ever bought SVGs files, sometimes you can get just like the one image and it'll cost 99 cents or whatever. This is actually a package of like 10, 20 different options. So I bought this so I can make three different bags. I'm going to show you using a screen share what I do step by step to make these bags. And it is so easy. So to get your image on Cricut, these are all the images. I already uploaded them, but I want to show you really quick. You click upload image, browse, pick the SVG file you want, and you can click that and click open. Once you click it and it goes through, it will pop up like this. So you're going to go through and you're going to pick the one that you want on your particular bag. In this case, I'm using the Reindeer Express for my first one. Here's our file. And the first thing we want to do is get an idea about what size we want. So in this case, I need it to be under 12 inches. This is a 12 inch piece of heat transfer vinyl or iron on. So you don't want it to be bigger than your sheet because you know, it won't fit. I don't need this image to be very big. And I know some people do like to make it as big as the bag, but this is a really large bag. So I'm going to make it maximum height is under 12 inches long. And that makes it 8.655 inches. All I'm going to do is just add some text. I like this font. This is a child's year. So I'm going to change the color though. Yeah, I'm going to do red. <clears throat> You're going to ungroup this. So you got to start by ungrouping. Okay. So they've got the whole thing grouped together. So we want to select just the green. I'm going to attach all of the green together. <clears throat> okay. So watch this. See that? Then I can print all the green at the same time and it won't move. I'm going to do the same thing to the red. All right. So now that I've done that, I am going to click make it. So I'm going to use a tw I'm going to use a 24 inch mat for this. The, the actual paper will be large enough, which is what's important. So I can print the green and then I can print the red together. What you want to make sure to do is click mirror. That's this right here and it reverses it because heat transfer vinyl needs to be mirrored uh, because it's printed on the opposite side of the sheet. So at this point I can click continue. I've got to connect my, my machine and I'm going to click everyday iron on right here. From here, all I have to do is get my machine set up. So I'm going to switch back to my camera so I can show you that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our long mat. It's 12 by 24 inches. I really recommend getting the longer mats. They're pretty useful to have. Okay, the first thing to cut out is the green. So I wanna start with that. I'm gonna take my, my green HTV and you'll notice there's a really shiny side and there's a dull side. The dull side is the side that actually sticks to your bag. So this is the side it cuts. The plastic is just a covering that you pull off at the end. So what you want to make sure to do is the shiny side goes down so the machine can cut the dull side. So you just want to line up your heat transfer vinyl 
on your mat with the lines. You want to make sure you don't have any bubbles in there. So as you can see, you have a arrow button. That is the load button. There we go. Now we loaded it. So you can see it kind of pulls it into the machine. And if you've gone through everything you need to on your computer screen, it'll pr the cricket button will blink. You just press it to get it started. And then you just let it go and give it some time. Okay, once it stops, you can press the eject button. And you are going to go ahead and remove this very carefully and replace it with the red. Okay, so at this point, I've cut away a little bit of extra that was blank that wasn't really written on because I can use those little scrap pieces later on. But I'm going to do something called weeding. And what that is, is you're scraping away anything that's not part of your design. Now that you are finished with that section, you're going to want to pull out your pressing pillow. We're going to put it inside our um, bag. And you want to figure out where you want this place. The, the pillow is actually a little smaller than my design, so I'm going to have to move it around. I have something called a Teflon sheet that I put over this to press it. <clears throat> Here we are. We need to use a heat press of some sort or an iron. Okay, so when you're deciding what temperature to put it on, I recommend going to cricut.com backslash heat guide. And on that site, you can input what type of HTV you're using. So in this case, we use this green is just a regular iron on everyday iron on. And then you put in your cotton canvas. Right now, the recommendation is to preheat for five seconds, then iron on at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds at light pressure and warm peel. The second items I'm putting on are foil. And the foil recommendation is different. The foil recommendation is, let's see, and this is all with an easy press and an easy press mat. The foil, prep, the foil is preheat for five seconds, press at 290 Fahrenheit for 30 seconds with light pressure and then cold peel. And in both of these, you're actually pressing for 30 seconds, flipping it, and then pressing the other side for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is preheated. And now we are just going to go right over it and we're gonna press the Cricut button and it'll count down for us. And you're gonna have to do that to each section Just to show you how easy it peels off when you get it right. See how that just comes off? And it doesn't really give you a hard time. In this case, this is not ready. You see, it's, it's and you can also just, it feels different. I don't know how to explain it. It feels a little different. Like, it feels like it's still stuck on there. So I'm going to repress that. This will just give this a look too. Let's see. That's a pretty good example. You can kind of see the texture of the fabric. Of course, some of that's the foil too. Okay, so the first layer is on. As usual, we want to kind of preheat this, make sure it's warm before we apply our vinyl. And we're gonna line this up. Okay, so again, this has been warmed up already and we are gonna go ahead and just press this here. Here are the final products. Thanks for watching. Make sure to get your blanks at bagsdepot.com and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. I've got lots of Christmas projects coming up. Thanks so much. Have a great day.